Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about three-digit regroup uh, subtraction with regrouping. Just like what we did yesterday, but instead of having two digits, today we're going to have three digits. So here's our total, 573. I went ahead and drew out our place value blocks, 500, 570, 73. Remember, I don't need to draw 249 because I'm taking 249 out of 573. So let's start in the ones because that's where we start always. I only have three and it says I need to take nine away. I can't do that. So I'm going to go into the next column, which is the tens, and I'm going to regroup it. Instead of saying I have one ten, I'm going to say that I have ten ones. Now, I don't have three ones anymore. Now, I have three plus ten, which is thirteen. So I don't have three. Now, I have thirteen. I no longer have seven tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put a six here and cross that seven out. Now I can subtract because now I have 13 minus 9. I'm going to cross off 9. And now I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. Put that 4 in the ones column. Now I move on to the tens column. 6 minus 4. I have 6 tens. I want to take 4 away. 6 minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I end up with two tens left, so I'm going to put the two tens. Now I'm going to move on to 5 minus 2. I have five hundreds. I'm going to take away two hundreds. 1, 2, and I'm left with three hundreds. My answer is 324. And what I did was I regrouped. I took one ten and put it into the ones column to make 13 ones minus 9. And then I could do 6 tens minus 4 tens. Let's try another one. Again, I went ahead and drew out um, our blocks. 343. 343. I'm going to start in the ones because that's where you start always. When you add and subtract, you always start in the ones column. I have three ones, but I need to take eight away. Again, I can't do that. Eight is bigger than three. I only have three. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take one of those tens, put it into the ones. I no longer have four tens. I have one, two, three tens. I no longer have three ones. I have three plus ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now I have thirteen ones minus eight. Now I can subtract. And I end up with one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to go into my tens column. And I'm looking and I see that I have three, but I need to take away seven. But I only have three. I can't do that. So I'm going to go into the hundreds column and I'm going to rename a hundred. Instead of saying one hundred, I'm going to say ten tens. One hundred equals ten tens. Now, I no longer have three tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I now have thirteen tens. So I'm going to subtract seven. I'm going to get rid of those seven tens now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have one, two, three, four, five. 6. 13 minus 7 equals 6. 
Now I'm going to go here. Do I have three hundreds left? No, because I got rid of that hundred. So I'm going to cross off my three and make a two. Two minus one equals one. My answer is 165. I had to regroup two times. I had to regroup a 10 into 10 ones, and I had to regroup a 100 into 10 tens. And that's all because I didn't have enough in my column. Let's try one more before you try two on your own. 645. Remember, that's my total. I'm taking away from my total 478. Again, I'm starting in the ones. I have 5 minus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can't take away 8, so I'm going to rename a 10. I'm going to take this 10 and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to change how it looks. Instead of being a 10, I'm going to make it into ones. Now I have 5 plus 10, which is 15. I no longer have just 5 ones, I have 15 ones. So I'm going to show that in my problem. Do I have 4 tens left? No. I only have 3. So I'm going to cross off the 3 and make it or cross off the four and make it a three, because now I have three tens. Now I can subtract in my ones column. Fifteen minus eight. I can cross off eight now. And I have left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fifteen minus eight equals seven. Now I can go into my tens column. I have three tens, and I need to take seven tens away. Do I have seven tens to take away? No way. I have to go into the next column and regroup. I'm going to take a hundred, put it into my tens. How many tens do I put? Ten, because one hundred equals ten tens. Now, I no longer have just three tens. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now, I can do thirteen minus seven. I'm going to cross off seven. And I end up with one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen minus seven equals Six. And then I can go into my hundreds column. Do I have six hundreds left? No, because I regrouped. I don't have six, I have five. Five minus four is just one hundred left. One hundred sixty seven. Again, I regrouped when I was subtracting because if I have Five, I can't take away eight, so I need to regroup it so I have enough so I can take it away. Now it's your turn to try. There's two problems. Make sure that you show your regrouping. So I should see those new numbers up here because you're regrouping. In the first one, you're only going to regroup one time. In the second one, you're going to regroup two times. Give it a try.